Okay, I've got this 13 millimeter round stock, uh, 11 inches long approximately. I'm going to make a scroll tongue. I also had one little piece of 8 millimeter there for the uh, to make the rivet. Okay, now that the rivet's done, I'll get on to making the tongue. But uh, first, I also wanted to say that I'm going to do a giveaway uh, of this scroll tongue. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it, and uh, you know, I you know had a lot of loyal subscribers and you know people who often comment. So I'd like to you know give a little bit back to someone, and I might do this again in the future as well. So basically, if if you're a subscriber and if you leave a decent comment. You, know, you don't cuss me out or whatever, you know, just a reasonable comment, then, uh, you know, I think maybe for the first four days or so, I'll take all the comments, and then I'll, I'll write down the usernames, put them in a hat, and I'll, I'll actually probably make a video of that, and then draw one person out, and I'll, uh, and then I'll say who that is, send me your address, and I'll send you off the tongue. It's, uh, you know, it'll be a, a $50 value. The tongue, normally I charge 37 and the standard airmail shipping be $13. So, someone will win this girl time. that this is a scroll tongue I typically I would use medium carbon steel for this because it's not basically used for holding it's you know used to manipulate you know a little bit of bending and twisting so it needs to be a little bit harder but I only had mild steel so I'm really thickening thickening up the jaws on this one
around this point that the uh, the audio kind of got out of sync. I'm not exactly sure why. Just uh, yeah, my camera is just uh, acting up, and I don't have the skill to figure out how to get it back to get it synced up again. But it's not too far off. Just you notice, like sometimes I'll swing the hammer, and then you won't. You know, you'll hear it first, and then you'll see the, the hammer it hit. So just uh, bear with that. It, it straightens itself out a little bit later in the video. the fan I've got going blowing in the background not just the forge the weather's been unseasonably hot even for here at this time of year so I'll uh, yeah just bear with that I mean it wouldn't be a, a GS video if it didn't have some visual or audio problem I guess right
just did a little filing on the jaws, mainly on the inside, just to round them off a little bit. You know, being that this is a scroll tongue, you don't want it to dig in too much. I sized this tong with a thin piece of flat stock, approximately 3 16 of an inch. So this way you'll be able to hold some stock, you know, at, typically like you would with a tong when forging, not just use this for manip manipulating scrolls. Uh, also, I look forward to getting my big vise in place and using that in the future. this footage in just to show how I quench the back end of the tongs.
please subscribe and comment and look out for the next video to see who wins this tongue.